Live from Hollywood, this is the KTLA Morning Show. El Segundo-based Mattel Incorporated has recalled almost 19 million Chinese-made toys because of lead paint contamination. Some of these toys also have those little powerful magnets that you find inside there that kids can easily swallow. And yesterday, officials in Beijing said the global recall is actually the result of new industry standards for safety and not necessarily the toy's quality or the manufacturers who made these things. Well, Mattel is blaming a sub-vendor for not following the company's rules for avoiding toxic paints, and Mattel is now informing customers and consumers of its improved testing regime and Mattel's international executive vice president Brian Stockton says this and we quote him today not only is the paint tested at certified suppliers we also expect the vendor which uh, makes that product to uh, for Mattel to actually test the paint now our own plants test the paint and then finally we test the paint as a finished product so no product leaves our control in its finished form and gets to consumers without it being tested or without us testing it. And joining us this morning attorney Jeffrey Colino has filed a class action lawsuit right now in Los Angeles trying to compel Mattel to pay for the testing of some of the kids who might have been poisoned by some of these toxic toys. Morning Jeffrey, how are you? Good morning. Thanks Fine. for joining us. Uh, so wait a minute, whose fault is this? Is it Mattel's fault? Is it the Chinese company's fault? Where's the blame line? They're both to blame, but predominantly Mattel. Their philosophy, as listed on their website, is play fair. Act with unwavering integrity in all aspects of our work. Mattel is not playing fair. They put toys with lead paint in our children's hands, and now they won't pay for a lead test. That's just not fair. All right, so let's talk about your lawsuit. Um, your lawsuit is to get Mattel to set up a fund for concerned parents. Uh, talk a little bit more about this. It's, it's so important that any child who's come in contact with these toys be tested immediately. Mm -hmm. Lead is a neurotoxin. It can affect your brain in very severe ways. A blood test is the best way to determine it. The sooner, the better. And who should pay for this? Mattel. They put the toys in our children's hands. They're the ones that should pay for it. Okay, show us some of the examples of these toys that are in question. Here's what's so concerning. These are not toys that you wouldn't expect to, your children to have. Everyone's child has these toys. Sure. You have Elmo's and, and, and Dora. And these are toys that parents paid more for. They're Mattel toys. This isn't a dollar store toy. This isn't a trinket. These are expensive toys that parents put their faith in Mattel for and unfortunately got poisoned. I mean, I, I mean, when you use the phrase poisoned, if I have a little kid and she takes this microphone and puts it in her mouth for two seconds like every kid would do, that's enough to constitute actual poisoning? Here's what, here's what we know. Every situation is different, but studies have shown that children put objects like these toys in their mouth an mm -hmm. average of 16 times per minute, or a total of 17 wow. minutes per, minute. per day. Wow, wow. Excuse me, per hour. Okay. okay. Per hour. Okay. 16 times an hour of a total of 17 minutes per day. Okay. And when you have that statistic and you have lead paint on here, children are likely to be poisoned. Now, I believed that there wouldn't be so many poisoning situations until this recall and I started receiving calls from families all over the country. Right. Well, we sure. actually, uh, Dr. Rick Clark of the CPCS, which is California Poison Control, contact, contacted us and said some uh, pediatric lead poisoning is pretty uncommon in California and that really one of the bigger issues is actually those magnets that are found inside these toys. Do you agree with that or do you think it's kind of a combination of both things, obviously? Generally, I, I was inclined to agree. Since the recall, I've received calls from families all over the country. I'm receiving reports of dangerously high levels of lead in our children. One family had the state come into their home and test the entire home for lead, not knowing that the toys had lead in them, mm -hmm. couldn't mm -hmm. find the source. Once the toy recall was announced, the toys were removed, and the children's lead levels started dropping. Wow. So, I mean, do we, I know that China has said that they're going to try to step up some of the production and they're saying, listen, it's because you guys have stronger safety standards. The toys are fine. It's just you keep raising the level of what's acceptable for a child. Do you buy that or do you say that they need to actually change what they're doing? They must change what they're doing. There's no uh, level of lead that's acceptable to be in our children's hands. Regulations need to be put in place. Mm -hmm. Our government is meeting, Congress is meeting in September. We need stiffer penalties. We need random testing. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the only measure that we're going to have our children saved by. Very quickly, you did a lawsuit about defective Chinese tires. Mm -hmm. What about the argument uh, that you get what you pay for and we are so addicted to incredibly cheap products, you know, this is the that, result of incredibly you know, cheap products. That's what you would think? 
the savings are not passed on to the consumer. These are not cheap products. Mm -hmm. the, the consumers paid for this. The manufacturers in China and the distributors in the U.S. kept the profit. The tires were at market price, so the consumer can't tell. It's not like, oh, well, I bought a tire and I yeah. paid less for it. Oh, well, then I know I got something that's not good, or a toy and I paid less. They paid market price. Okay. Um, you know, I have to ask this one last question. I know we got to go, but what can be done really quickly to protect our consumers with all of these recalls that are coming from China? The government needs to act. We okay. need a police force. We need random testing of our toys. We need a mandatory third-party testing of all of our toys and stiffer penalties. All right. all right. Here's the contact information. Want to learn more about attorney Jeffrey Colino and the class action lawsuit that he's filed against Mattel here. We also have a toll-free number for parents to contact Mattel to confirm if they actually have some of these toys that are involved in the recall. And for questions about the dangers of these recalled toys, call the California Poison Control System. All this information, the websites are ktla.com, ktla.com, and ktla.com. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jeffrey. Thanks, Jeffrey. Thank you so much. We appreciate Thanks. all that information.